this Cognos list has two columns. First is product line, second one is product type. For each uh, product line, we have several product types. So this product line camping equipment will occupy five rows. But I don't want to occupy five rows. I want to occupy just one row. And I can achieve that if I can just uh, list all of the product types in one row. And if I remove these uh, duplicates for camping equipment. So this is what I want to achieve. And to do that, I will first delete this product type column. And then I will go here to toolbox. I will go to data containers. And here we have this icon repeater. And we will use repeater for uh, this uh, task. So I will add repeater here as a new column. I will name it just repeater. And I have to bind this repeater to query one because uh, this list is already bind to query one. So I will click on OK. And then I will use that column product type. I will add it here to repeater. And this is our result. Now this result is not great because all the terms are connected without any gaps. I want to have commas between these uh, terms. And to achieve that, I will first uh, jump to page design. And I will also unlock uh, this uh, list. And then I will see that here I have one text item. And that text item is inside of repeater. But I want to add one more text item to be repeated. So I will use this text item from here. I will place it here after that uh, previous text item, but inside of repeater. I will place it here. And here I will just type comma and space. So when I click on OK, I can then lock this uh, list. I can go back to page preview and I will have uh, commas at right places, except I will have this uh, comma at the end. We want to remove this comma at the end. In that case, we have to use formulas and solution will become much more complex. So if we can accept this uh, solution where uh, we have this not needed comma at the end, we should just accept it. It will make uh, things much easier. But if we want to remove this comma at the end, we will first have to explain some logic how we are going to do that. I will jump now here to page two. And here I have a list with two columns and I will create two more columns by using formulas. I will add one query calculation. I will name this column number of uh, product types. And my formula will be a count of distinct of product type for each product line. I will click on OK. And we will now uh, see that inside of this product line, we have five product types. Inside this product line, we have four product types and so on. Then I will create one more uh, column. So I will add again query calculation. And uh, this uh, column will be named number of line. And uh, here I will uh, use a running a function, running count. And I will calculate what is running count for each um, uh, product line. So this will be my formula. I will click on OK. And now we can identify what is the last row inside each product line. For example, if you look at our camping equipment, we can see that the only row where number of product types is equal to number of line is this one. And this is actually the last row. And we are looking for this last row because for this last row, we don't need that comma. And this is our logic. And now we can uh, go to page three where we are going to make the final solution. In uh, page three, I have already prepared a list with one column but we will need two more columns. So I will jump here to query three and I will add those columns. First, I will add product type and I will also add one formula. And with this formula, I will create a column with the name number of product types. And that formula is as previously count of distinct from product type for product line. I will click on OK. Now we have all of the needed columns. So we will go back to page three. And now I will add a repeater. 
I will name this repeater just repeater. I will bind it to query tree. And when I click on OK, I will be reminded that the name of repeater has to be unique. So I will change this name to repeater2. And now it will work. And first I will uh, fix the name of this uh, call. For that, I will unlock this uh, list. I will select this text item. And we know that this time we can use this option uh, date item label, but we shouldn't use it. This will mess up things. So instead of that, we will just type the name of a column by hand. So I will just type here product type. And then I will lock my list. Then from the query, I will use this uh, column product type. I will add it to repeater. And now we have to fix the problem with commas. And we will do that with the formula. But uh, for this formula, we need this column number of product types. And the problem is that formula inside of repeater will not be able to use this column. And we have to give permission to repeater to use this column. And we do that in this way. We select the repeater. We go here to this properties prop, uh, property properties. We click on these three dots. And then we check the column that we want to use inside of our repeater. So I will click here on OK. And now we can add a formula. But we will not uh, use query calculation, we will use layout calculation. That will make our uh, formula uh, simpler. Uh, before that, I will just change this to page design so that I can better see what I'm doing. So I will add my formula here uh, after text item, but inside of repeater. And my formula will be like this. If, and then we will use that column number of product types, is equal to, and now I will use function row number. And this is the reason I have chosen to use layout calculation. I can achieve the same result with function row number like I did previously with the auxiliary column that have used a running count function. And this is much easier. So if these two values are equal, then we should place nothing. Otherwise, uh, we should place our comma. I will validate this and I will click on OK. Now we can go back to page preview and we will see that now we don't have those commas at the end. But in this case, we do have a comma at the end. So why is this uh, happening? Well, to solve this problem, we will select this repeater and we will go to this property rows per page. And here we should type some bigger number, let's say 100. So when we do this, we will see that now we have nice also inside of this list. So we have to change that uh, property rows per page in order uh, to show all of the items. And we can see that at the end, we don't have commas anymore.